Okay, what do we mean by a pool of n items? Go back to these examples. How many cities are in this pool of cities? How many? n is 7 in this example here. You've got 7 cities in the pool. How many here in the pizza example? How many toppings do you have to choose from? How many toppings are in this pool? How many? Count them. How many? Eleven. Eleven. How many prize, How many? How many people are in the pool here? Forty what? Forty students. Is that true? Any one of these forties could be forty students could be selected for a deluxe pizza. Any any number, any four of these toppings, four of these toppings out of the pool of eleven can be selected. Here, the same thing. N is forty because you got forty students to choose from. This is the pool language, OK? Now, what is the R language here? R language is how many you need in your arrangement, OK? So in my arrangement here of winners, how many winners, how many students are needed to be considered a winner? How many? Uh-oh, OK, look at this one. How many students are getting prizes? So I need three students from my pool of what? 40. So here's an example where R is 3. R here is also 3 because it's the same. We just switched the prizes. We need, we're giving away three $50 prizes. What is R over here for the pizza? Why is it 4? Because 4 toppings define a what? Deluxe pizza. What about over here? How many cities are we talking about? So R here is what? Seven. You guys, you guys okay with that? There's a formula associated with these two definitions. You guys ready for the formula? You guys ready for it? Okay, here we go. NPR is defined to be n factorial divided by n minus r in parentheses what? Factorial. Yes, we're going to write down what all this stuff is. Yes. For the combination, it is n factorial over R factorial times the difference between N and R factorial. Okay, here we go. We're going to have to talk about this factorial. Anybody see factorial before? Anybody see it? Definition of factorial. And this is really, let's say it's uh, x factorial, okay? x factorial is defined to be Take the number x and start counting backwards. You guys know how we can describe counting backwards? One fewer, x minus 1. And then one fewer, x minus 2. All the way down to 2 times 1. So you start with x. And you end with the number what? 1. What do you do with all the numbers in between? You what? You multiply. OK, you guys get this? Is that OK? No? OK, so for example now, what does 3 factorial look like? Uh-oh. What does 3 factorial look like? You start with what? Three, and then you count how? Backwards. Backwards. What's the next number? 
2, and then you end with? What is 3 times 2 times 1? What is it? 6. Do you notice Gabby in your calculator? Is there a factorial key, Gabby? <laughs> Let's look at our calculators. Do you think we can, do you see one? Do you guys see a calculator? Do you think we could use that on our test? What do you think? Oh, I see one, x factorial. Let's put three. Three, it's in yellow, so it's shift. It's six. So your calculator is half factorial. Especially, oh, this calculator here? Okay, it's under the math mode. You guys have these TIs? Those of you that have a TI, you have to go to math. Where is math? Oh, here's math. You see math? And then you got a bunch of uh, topics. Go all the way to probability, PRB. And then scroll down to your factorial. So it's math, PRB, factorial. You got that there? Uh, yours is going to be, here's, you have PRB. Turn it on. You're going to say 3 and then look for PRB for probability. Now you got three options. Oh, okay. Yeah, put the number first. Then 3 PRB. Okay, maybe after class we'll look at everybody's calculator. But the point is, it's there. Let's look at some more examples. Example, let's say 5 factorial. What's 5 factorial? 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. What do you guys notice about that? What is that? 120. Good. Can you guys tell me what's 2 factorial? Isn't that 2 times 1, which is? What's 1 factorial? What's 0 factorial? Put in your calculator. What, is zero, what does that give you? Zero factorial. What does it say? Do you guys notice it says one? Now, here's the deal. This definition of factorial I gave you is um, it's the definition that they're going to give you in pretty much um, every sort of setting except for an advanced calculus or a real uh, a probability statistics setting. There's another definition of factorial that is related to what's known as the gamma function, and that's a whole other thing. But just know that there's two defaults, meaning that one factorial is one, and zero factorial is also what? One, OK? The rest follows from that definition I gave you by start with the number and count backwards. OK, you guys OK with this? All right, so guess what? We're now going to be able to use our Combinations and permutations definition. Go now back to the scenarios that we're talking about, the four examples. Let's start here with which one do you want to start with? You want to start with this one? We'll, start, we'll work backwards. So here, we're going to determine n is 40 and r is what? 3. From the pool of 40 students, we need 3 students to give prizes to. Is that right? We're asking you now this question. What is the total number of possible winning arrangements or rosters? 